Today I'm going to show you how to edit names, items and moves in Galaxy. The software we'll need for this is Kurimu and Karameru. Links to all will be in the description below. So let's start by opening uh, Citra and dumping the RO, the ROMFS. So now that we have our dumped file, we're going to go onto our desktop and make a new folder and we'll call it new text and open that. From there, we're going to drag and drop the IE6 underscore A file into our new folder and I'm going to delete these. Okay, so we've got, this is the only file we'll be needing today. Open your IE6 underscore A, this should pop up and we're going to extract our gdspack.pck file and we'll just drop it inside here. Uh, yeah. That'll do. Extract that. Once it's extracted, we'll go to Tools, Compression, Level 5, Decompress. We'll click the GDS pack we've just extracted and then save it in the same place. That's us sorted. We can come out of the IE6 underscore A now. Okay, now that we've got our decomp, we, we want to open that. And there's a lot of files here we'll need to extract. First, uh, we're going to go character, the cara underscore text dot jar. We're going to extract that, and I'm, I make uh, folders for the separate um, things that I'm going to be editing. So first, we'll make a character folder for character, uh, then we'll make an item folder for items. Save that, and then we make a... Yes, yeah, we'll make a uh, move one for skills or I'll call it skills for uh, convenience sake. And then we'll make a skill for skill. You can uh, extract all of these different files and just have a look inside them all. Uh, but uh, none of them, a lot of them won't have the same type of information uh, like the character file would have. So what you want to do now is open up Kurimu with, and open the cara text uh, dot jar. Uh, I'll ask you if you want to make a backup entirely up to you. We'll say yes for, con for convenience sake. And that, that makes a, a backup file. Just in case. So what we're going to do is we're going to change Orion's name to his Japanese name, Tenma. So what we're going to do is click on the find button. And obviously we can just type in his name and a lot appears. 27. Uh, so we don't want to go through them all and just like t change them all there. We want to make our, our lives a little bit easier. So we're going to go to replace. Uh, so on this top box here, it should be uh, the name that you, the current name. And then the box here is the name you want to replace it with. So in that case, what we're going to do is type in Arian for the top and then Tenma for the bottom. And then check replace in all entities or all entries, sorry, um, box here. Make sure that's checked so all of the names, all of the 27 matches get replaced with Tenma here. So we'll click on replace all, and then you go, as you can see, it's replaced all 27. Obviously, it's not changed here, but uh, all you need is a little refresh, and that's your changed. Easy as that. So another thing we can do is, uh, I think it's this. And we could just type in that and go here. Now it's term. Uh, that's a bit. It's a bit weird. So um, we could just replace that with something else, like uh, his actual name. I don't know how to spell it off the top of my head. Okay, so let's just get rid of that and start at the front, and then there you go. Sorted. So once we're finished here, all we need to do is go to click save, and that is us saved our file there. We can come out of the character text and that's what's done with the character name now what we're going to do is we're going to go to items and then change the item text again it will ask us if we want to do a backup just say yes and as you can see now there's 5016 entries in this uh, document here so what we're doing is we're just going to change um the uh the tenmas kit to tenmas uh kit as you can see, so we can just do that. You can do it individually, but I'm not going to. That's a bit, 
That's a bit long. So replace all and we've replaced all of them. So if we look uh So if we find the case now, as you can see, it's now seven matches because we've replaced them all. There you go. Everything is... Uh, we would need to change that to apostrophe S just so it's, well, you know, factually correct. I'm just going to push the PS there. Okay, once that's done, just click save. Now, you can do that for any item you want. I just happen to like prefer the uh, Japanese over the, the dub. It's just a preference of mine. Uh, so now we're going to go into skill. And this is all of the moves, skills, caching, souls, all of that stuff that is in here. So if we look in, oh, and also the descriptions for them as well. Uh, so if we go down here, sturdy, the skill sturdy, put your back into it, skills, FT, but yeah, you get the gist. Crimson Pure to Titan Shield. So what do we want to uh, change? Well, what's a name that, uh, probably, there's Kangaroo Cactus and all that. So what we want, what we want to find is, I don't actually know the names of <laughs> some of the dub shots. We'll just change Doom. We'll, we'll type in Doom and we'll see what pops up, right? So Doom here. Doom Sword Slash. There you go. I think that's... Is that not... Yeah, here we go. Doom Sword Slash. So what we just want to do is change that to Death Sword. Death Slash. Death sword there. That's that's how that is. What's this one? Doom dive drive. Death drop would be that one. I prefer doing them in uh, one by one just so I know what's um you know what one's which. So I'll change that to death spear as well. Because I think that is what it's called. Hold on, we can verify this fact. If you can spell death right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. That's all I needed to know. So once you're finished there, click save. You can come out of that. Well, make sure you save it. And let's go back into the decomp GD GDS pack. So now we want to replace our character text. Inside character. And then here we go. Replace that. Make sure it's the actual bin file, not the backup file. So the one you saved, make sure that's been... That's the one you want to replace. Inside item, replace. Inside the item folder, replace. Skill text, replace. Inside skill, replace. Sorted. Now press Control S for save. Go to tools, compression, level 5, compress, LZ10. Now you want to make sure you click on the decomp, the decomp pack file. Select that. And then... We're saving it as GDS pack. Click uh, yes to replace that. It will give it a second to replace everything and compress it. There you go. It's successfully compressed. Okay. Now we can exit that. Inside IE6 underscore A. Now it's just a case of replacing this. Easy as that. And save. Easy. Now all of it, all all it is now is just a case of replacing the uh, file now. So all you need to do, I'll get rid of them. 
So all you'll need to do is copy this over to your ROMFS mods folder. And that's you. Let's see how it looks in game. So straight away upon just loading up the menu here, because I have Tenma actually in my party for my save, you can see his name's already changed. So if we go into friends and check here, uh, Tenma, Maskazi Tenma, Tenma and King Arthur's. So everything that was originally Orion has been changed to Tenma. So that's the that was a character one. That's complete. Okay. Uh, what about items? If you noticed that we done um, the Sh the Sherwin's kit. Now it's Tenma's kit. Tenma's kit. Faye designed this kit for Tenma's. For the Tenma's. Okay. It seems to be th the items seem to have uh, changed as well. Let's go to the emblem and find the Sherwin's emblem here. And then we'll go to the Tenma's apostrophe as well because we're cool. All right. What about the boots? Is there... Boots as well, Terra. I don't know if I've actually got... There's too many, but I can assume that it's probably right. Hold on, how have you look? There you go, Tenma's boots. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. So I'm assuming the items work really well. What about the moves? Now, note that the actual uh, images here will not have changed. We only changed the text inside the game. These are PNGs of um, graphics, so that would be the uh, IE6 underscore B uh, folder. I'll have a, a video on Friday covering how to change them. So I uh, don't actually know where uh, Doom Sword slash or okay, it doesn't matter. I found them. As you can see, Death Sword, Death Drop. And I don't. I think I did um, Doom Sla Doom Spear as well. Wherever that is, here it is. Doom Spear, Death Spear. So it all works. So that's that's how you would change names. You can change it for spirits. Obviously, you would need to have a look at the names here and change them accordingly if you do want to tackle the big task that is uh, changing all the dub names to sub names. Um, I applaud anyone who's going to try that. It is a massive project. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. It is quite a short one. And I did briefly go over how to change the kits uh, names. But I didn't actually explain how to like, you know, change the names, change the um, items and the moves. So all that in a one video, I think, would be was probably the better idea here. So if yeah, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Share this video if you found it helpful. Um, I'm, I am looking to uh, get the, get this content out here so people can actually like learn how to mod and just have their, you know, just an, an introduction to uh, modding in general. It's a great game to uh, dissect, I think. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I have uh, more guides and tutorials planned again. Um, on Friday, we've got, um, we're doing move graphics. Uh, so if you want to make custom move graphics for uh, the move here, we'll be doing, we'll cover on that on, excuse me, on Friday. So stay, keep your eyes peeled for that. Subscribe if you're interested. We will, we'll, we'll love to have you for that. But yeah, with that said, I'm off.